By way of uh, introduction, I'll say that in the title of our talk today, exercise is called Deep Calls to Deep, as mentioned earlier by the Grand Master. Now, the quest for meaning is a central part of the journey on the mystical path. In reference to this journey, Grand Master Emeritus Raymond Andre in the MR book, The Technique of the Disciple, declares that for the aspirant, deep calls to deep all through life. As we evolve our capacity to observe, attune, and connect with ourselves, others, and all increases in this process, there is a profoundly meaningful shift from perceiving to conceive, you know, with the perspective of the whole. In this presentation, we'll apply these keys by conducting a mystical exercise in meditation involving the realization of meaning and service in the depth of the divine. At this time, I'll ask for Karen to post uh, in the chat for you the resources and also to upload a PDF with those resources that you may wish to download while I get up some inspiring slides to help us into our mythical exercise and meditation. Now you'll see before you a work entitled Reflection. And as aptly mentioned earlier in the presentations, reflection is about balance. Definitely at this time, we approach the equinox, the autumn, of equal duration of day and night. This work is acrylic on canvas and dates from 1981, 32 inches by 24 inches. It's actually in the private collection of a Rosicrucian student. It's by the Anishinaabe artist, Blake Rebasage, who's incarnated from 1956 to 2022. He lived here on Manitoulin Island, the Creator's Island uh, in Ontario, Canada, one of the sacred places of the Anishinaabe. And just as Grandmaster Emeritus um, Raymond Andrea indicated to us to look for truth, to be vigilant, no matter what form it takes, it behooves us each day to follow that. In great works of art, but even under everyday uh, encounters with children, with nature, as we've been discussing. Unfortunately, to be able to examine on the back of this canvas painting, there's a note from the artist, Blake. And he talks about the importance of taking time to reflect on and gather insights from that deepest part of ourselves. The work is actually of an aspirant or a seeker lying out in a grassy meadow, and there's various flowers around. You notice the hands clasped over the heart. We know deeply as Rosicrucians in the Egyptian tradition. We'll find again and again a universal message through mystics of all cultures. In this way, deep falls to deep. Related to this practice of reflection and contemplation is the central practice of meditation, but contemplation, or we refer to as reflection, helps supercharge our meditations, either in doing it before or after. The, the deeper impressions coming up from the divine within through the subconscious are aided as we move into that reflective state, balancing the inner and the outer. I also want to show you um, certain other things related to this, this work of art. Nearby here on Manitoulin Island, just off into the mainland, there's a small island called Little La Cloche Island, um, apart from the bell um, in French, because when geologists prospected in the area, they rang with their prospector's hammer. The rocks seemed to ring like a bell. And here you see before us, called Dreamer's Rock. It's one of the most sacred places in all of Turtle Island or North America. It's a high mound or hill of white quartzite rock. Picture taken here in a sunny day. The upper right picture is looking out from Dreamer's Rock out in the, in the distance, the expansive view. In a way, this rock is a, forms a great cosmic axis. It was, it was part of uh, what was traditionally called by the Anishinaabe and today the uh, place of the Wasaya bin Damawin, or the vision quest. 
And I mentioned the vision quest because each culture has back of it a vision quest. Often it's emphasized for those in their youth, for their setting up their quest for meaning and purpose. But it behooves us in each in our own way that we've been speaking about today, to daily and in a longer term, keep ensuring that we're following our deepest guidance and having times for the vision quest, which we'll undertake shortly in our meditation practice. It's in, in this sense too, I wanted to show you another work uh, by Blake, who is an inspired mystic. Here you'll see before you pictures associated with the vision quest and, dreamer, and dreamer's rock in essential terms. There's a person on the vision quest, they're on their own. They've been carefully prepared by their teachers, similar as we do in our Rosicrucian teaching by our daily lessons. You'll see the great pulsations of energy and a life force coming in from around the figure and the pulsating of energy connecting and a life force connecting all things and the cosmos suggested above and even the, the figure in the, in the moon suggesting a great deep inner harmony the mystics know and live out. Similar to this, I want to show you close up here in color of this wonderful um, work. It's from the Windland Cultural Center in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. You notice the pulsating heart in the center here. We'll find at times in our mystical quest and deepest experiences in life that there's so much love that's entered into us. Sometimes it's hard for the Holy Temple to bear it, and yet it's, it was designed to take that, that enriching love and well-being that we've been speaking about. These are our touchstone experiences for our less, for the rest of our life. You'll notice the sacred implements, such as the sacred sacred pipe here. We'll apply certain essential elements of that as we rise up into the cosmic and the law, law of transmutation. You can feel the great energy coming in into the inspiring and seeker in this picture. The tremendous sense of well-being, the sense of all-knowingness, the sense of ascending into the cosmic that we're about to do. So in a way, we see a succession of stages here, the reflection, the preparation, and there's the up upliftment. Um, in, in you could say the uh, illumination leading to a sense of enlightenment in Blake's work here. That's, that's uh, from the McMichael Canadian collection in Kleinberg, Ontario, Canada. We see here a wonderful balancing. There's a tremendous rising up in energy through the, often used indigenous people in Anishinaabe, the Thunderbird. But we see that in our own Rosicrucian tradition, the great sense of upliftment that will come and clothe our, in our minds according to how we've been raised and observed in the cultural of cultures. One of the great and beautiful things about the Rosicrucian teachings and our daily lessons is they give us the universal understanding. So whatever we see and do, we can understand the deeper meaning and move to its conception, its conception, and that deeper sense of oneness and well-being is how we come into deeper and deeper sense of, of meaning in life that is part of the vision quest that each of us undertakes in our own unique way. Now that you've had some time to get your resources, uh, that Karen's posted for you and will undertake shortly as you look at this inspiring work. You'll see the balance of it, the left and right symmetry. You see the sacred pipe and what's the uh, figure's right hand with your on your left in our view. And then this, the chalice associated with the uh, communion. And there's a balancing of, of uh, Western tradition associated with Christianity, but also the sacred pipe of indigenous peoples. And Blake was trying to convey and did convey well in this work a deep sense of balance that we come into when we have a when we start to understand the underlying laws and principles that have their different expressions among different peoples of the world down through the ages, as deep calls to deep. You'll see too near the upper center that there's a circle with a cross through it on the, wing, the wings and body of the Thunderbird, the great communicator with the divine and the creator. This is the harmony and balance that we come into in these sacred symbols that we're aware of as we're the Crucians in our studies. 
at this time prepared by the Grand Master, Brother Leo, this our essay, that is prepared to ascend to the heights of the celestial sanctum and where deep calls to deep throughout life. I invite you now to close your eyes, inspired by our presentations today, the one that works by the Anishinaabe mystic, Blake Basige, showing universal patterns of growth and maturity to us. I invite you to have your eyes closed. Just let go of any cares of the day. Just bathe in the enrichment we've had. Our inspired speakers, inspiring exercises. And let us continue in that fashion. I invite you to do what Rosicrucians refer to as neutral breathing. Either holding the inhalation or holding the exhalation. Just enjoy the beautiful rhythm of the incoming air and the outcoming air. And further, you may wish to prolong the exhalation longer than the inhalation. And that prolongation of the exhalation automatically stimulates the vagus nerve, which gives rise to the relaxation response. Known increasingly through scientific studies, but Rosicrucians have known since time immemorial. With that relaxation response, we will spiritualize it, seekers and mystics. To the deep calm and tranquility the Rosicrucians refer to as peace profound, the deepest sense of peace. Once we've experienced it, we can have it as a touchstone experience for the rest of our life to keep drawing it back. And when we experience the peace profound, we see things are right. Things that loom large are seen more in the mature perspective of the infinite resources of the divine within. We sense this great adventure in our life. Let's continue to enjoy the incoming and outcoming breath. And you may wish to visualize with each incoming breath, increasing the presence, the divine within, the master within, our true nature and guide that we increasingly identify with, and deeper and deeper meaning in life is revealed to us in this manner. Not only in an intellectual way, but in a deep spiritual embodiment way. Now purified by the breathing exercise, let us continue our meditation. Following the instructions, the Rosicrucian booklet, Liber 777, which we've given you the resources for. And it's a book worth coming back to again and again, for as we grow and mature, the depth of its conveyance through the cosmic context and what it is we've written comes increasingly to us. And we become the living embodiment of its expression. I'd like you to say with me now prayer and invocation, applying the law of purification, the law of cosmic attunement. May the divine essence of the cosmic infuse my being and cleanse me of all impurities of mind and body, that I may enter the celestial sanctum and attune in pureness and in worthiness, so mote it be. Now, fathers and sorrows and participants, I invite you now to use all of your imaginative capacity, the psychic faculties to picture yourself rising up, just like we saw the Thunderbird rising, the, the seeker rising in the enlightenment, rising up, up from your dwelling place where you're seated or lying now. Enjoy the ascent upward. Picture yourself above your building, your home, rising up over your neighborhood, enjoying the ascent, seeing the beauty below, the system in order, the streets, the buildings, the landforms, 
keep rising up over your city or geographic area, higher and higher, up over your province or state, seeing the beauty of the weather systems, the various land forms and water forms. Just keep rising up, enjoying the exhilaration of the ascent. And see now your country or great nation and radiate love and well-being to all, to all below as an act of service and love. Let us keep rising up faster and faster using great inner spiritual strength, recently allowing the divine within to assist us in this ascent. And see now the continent where you dwell and even the hemisphere as we rise up faster and faster, way beyond the speed of light, take in the entirety of the beautiful blue jewel that is our earth, the temple of the earth, our special home. Rotating about its axis, while its great satellite, the moon, revolves about the earth. And look up as we continue to journey upward and see the beautiful, elliptical orbits of the planets revealed to us by the traditional Rosicrucian Sir Isaac Newton and the great fiery ball of the sun, our local star, the beautiful rings of Saturn and the huge planet Jupiter and the smaller planets such as Mercury, Mars and Venus and feel the special psychic energy that radiate out from them as we return in kind to them. And let us look up as we continue to go through the cosmos and let us apply the law of correspondence for as we rise up higher and higher into the cosmic, we'll go deeper and deeper within ourselves, the parallel action. As we go through this ascent to the heights of the celestial sanctum and dwell there, we'll apply over 50 Rosicrucian laws and principles that are taught to us for our weekly lessons. Some will be explicitly mentioned to us now, some have been mentioned earlier in our event today. Picture yourself rising up well past the outer reaches of our solar system, past the stellar phenomena of the quasars and the pulsars, black holes balancing the universe, the rogue planets, the asteroids, and the nebula, and sense how we're in a great arm of the Milky Way galaxy, our great home, and sense it moving in a, in a great rotation about the huge black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, balancing with a divine music, our Milky Way galaxy. And let us exit right out from the great arm of the Milky Way galaxy and look back at its stupendous harmony and order. And let us continue to rise up, sensing other galaxies and stars and the great cosmic web connecting all the galaxies and stars and the universe itself, as we continue to rise up. Plus, plus clusters of galaxies, and even past super clusters of galaxies, which are clusters of, low, of galaxies, galaxies with them. Tremendous vastness of the finite plane, as we gradually move, shift to the infinite plane. Can you rise up and join the exhilaration of the center, way beyond the speed of light as you transcend space and time, experiencing more and more the deep meaning of the word cosmic than experience, the Rosicrucian term meaning, universal intelligence back of the cosmos and all natural and spiritual laws that we've been learning today in our lessons in our observing of life. Can you rise up higher and higher and start to sense now the great rotation of the universe itself about a cosmic axis. As we speed past the myriad stars and galaxies, as you sense the presence of the great cosmic axis spoken by philosophers and mystics since time immemorial, speed towards its midpoint, its great center point. And when you come there, Slow up and let us dwell there, taking in the stupendous harmony and order, sensing all the connections of the cosmos, the great life force back of the universe, 
just as our imperator Claudio Mazuka has emphasized to us, we come into the deepest understanding and meaning in life through our connection, our connection through the one soul, not only as a wondrous philosophical concept, but as an astounding experience. So we connect deeper and deeper within ourselves, risen to the height of the, of the celestial sanctum, to the very depths of our being. And I invite you following the instructions of the booklet, Lever 777, to picture your personal sacred space. You may wish on this occasion to simply have it as the vast cosmos in order around you, our special temple on earth, our special place in nature. Feeling the sights and sounds, the various sense impressions, and the corresponding ones on the psychic level. You may wish to picture two incense rising up, applying the law of transmutation. This is we rose up into the cosmos. You may wish to picture signs and symbols or even stained glass windows depicting Rosicrucian laws and principles. And those others with us on this Rosicrucian symposium now. And the Grand Lodge officers of the Rosicrucian order and the imperator of the Rosicrucian order may be conducting a sacred convocation and ritual at the heights of the celestial sanctum. Just to continue to fulfill your visualization, your personal celestial sanctum. And when you're ready, you may wish to let go of your visualization and dwell in peace profound as we apply for a time the law of silence. And just let go, just surrender, and just be receptive to the divine within. Let the divine within reveal to us the full depth and meaning in life. As we continue to dwell at the heights of the celestial sanctum, the center of the cosmos, at the center of our being. Completely surrender the divine within. That's the deepest meaning in life and the stupendous harmony and order through the music of the cosmos.
Now for the soars and participants, this continue a while longer at the heights of the celestial sanctum. This time attuned with the cosmic invites you to participate in the work of the silent council. Association of the Council of Solace of the Grand Lodge of the Rosicrucian Order Emma to radiate love and well-being to all those in need throughout the cosmos. Deeper sense of meaning in life, deep sense of healing and wellness. Just radiate love and well-being to them all. In this manner, deep calls to deep. Let your mind experience as the cosmic mind experiences. Assume the cosmic mind. Be the cosmic mind. Apply the law of assumption, the law of cosmic attunement. At one with the one. Friars and soars and participants will soon descend from the heights of the celestial sanctum. You may wish to invoke the law of gratitude to thank all those who have taught us well, who have loved us well, sacrificed well on our behalf. Grateful for this opportunity to fill our birthright through the law of cosmic attunement and the law of service, reaching out to all sentient beings deep calls to deep now and forevermore. Let us begin our descent at tremendous speed past the superclusters of galaxies and the myriad stars, stellar phenomena, enjoying the exhilaration of the descent, transform and remade. Let us see in the distance the supercluster of galaxy where we live and plunge within it past the myriad local clusters of galaxies. See in the distance our local cluster and enter into it past the myriad galaxies. In the distance, the great spiraling arms of the Milky Way galaxy. So we enter into it past the myriad stellar phenomena and see in the distance our solar system, our home great fiery ball of the sun, the beautiful blue jewel of the earth. We send back on our hemisphere and continent, our country, our great nation, province or state. See the geographic area or city where we left off. I invite you to stay together with me. Another prayer and invocation. May the God of my heart sanctify this attunement of self with the celestial sanctum, so mote it be. Let us continue down through our neighborhood, our home or dwelling where we left off, the building, back where we're seated or lying, feeling rejuvenated, remade, transmuting increasingly who we are not into who we are most deeply. And how deep, it's called the deep, and a great sense of well-being that will carry forward now and throughout our days. Thank you. <laughs>